Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor, and let's kick off with this problem on level 3. Here we go. So we've got a room 4.8 by 4.2 by 4.6. Okay, let me just mark all the dimensions. This is 4.8 meters. This is 4.2 meters and the height has to be taken as 4.6 meters. Now guys, in this particular problem also, since all the dimensions have been given in meters, you need to take some kind of scale because drawing 4.8 meters is not possible on a drawing sheet which is hardly a meter wide so let's just assume okay let's just take it as one meter is equal to one centimeter okay that's that's a good enough scale okay so determine graphically the distance between top corner and bottom corner diagonally opposite to it bottom corner diagonally opposite okay so let's just say that this is the top corner and let's call this as a okay and the opposite corner diagonally opposite bottom corner is this one let's call this as point b right and if i can join a line joining a and b it would be this one this red colored line and you need to find the true length of this line okay not by math but with the help of engineering graphics and how to do this well here is the idea draw an xy line and look at this from the front what will you see you'll see this block this is the block that you'll see 4.8 by 4 point this is going to be 4.6 on your drawing sheet it will be 4.8 centimeters by 4.6 centimeters that's it although i'm writing meters but you need to draw this i'm using centimeters only okay and in the top view, you'll see this, this portion. Well, this is 4.8 and this right here is 4.2. That's 4.2. So that's done. Okay, let's let's mark these points, the front one top views of A as well as B. Here we go. So that's the front view of A. When you view this from the front, it is at the top. Okay, here, somewhere here. When you view this from the top, the top view of A will be somewhere here. At the back in the top view you'll see this okay and somewhere here we'll have the top view of a here it is let me show you that's a similarly when you if you want to locate point b point b's front view it's it's right at the bottom this portion this portion this portion that's why we have made this b dash over here in the same manner guys the top view of point v well if you look at this from the top you'll observe this rectangle and you will observe the top view over here, here, precisely, that's B. Now let's join again B with A, that's it. Now the only stuff left is to find the true length. How do we find the true length? We either go for the rotation of front view or the rotation of top view. And in this particular case, I'll be showing you both the approaches. It's up to you which approach to follow, okay? And here we go. Now what we'll do is we'll fix this B and we'll rotate this A until it becomes until this AB becomes absolutely parallel. Here we go. That's the location. This is the new location A1. So this is old A. This is old A dash. And this is new A1. And here we'll find the new A1 dash somewhere here. Let me project the line directly upwards and that's it. A1 dash. When you join A1 dash with this B over here, you'll have the true length. And this actually works out as just do this measurement. Keep your scale over here. Simple ruler. And try to measure this this is 78 millimeters so 78 millimeters is nothing but uh, how much well this is going to be 7.8 centimeters which on conversion to meters will become 7.8 well meters obviously now let's try to do the entire drill again let me rub all of this now what we'll do is we'll try to rotate the well, front view. Here we go. Let's fix this A and let's rotate B dash. Okay, for that, let me just extend the line from here towards the left and let's keep one leg of your compass at A dash, other leg at B dash and rotate it this way. This is the new position. This is, let's call it as B1 dash. Now, this is B dash old. This is B in the top view. Let me extend the line towards the left and this is precisely the new location. Here we go. That's B1. And when you join B1 with A, you'll again get the same value that is 78 millimeters, which is 7.8 centimeters, which on conversion will be equal to 7.8. You know that it's 7.8 meters. 
that's it 7.8 meters so the distance between the top corner and the diagonally opposite bottom corner is 7.8 meters so guys that was all for today i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching